Julian Alaphilippe is one of the world's top riders. A two-time former world champion with a stage of the Vuelta, six stages of the Tour de France included on his Palmares. Here's a closer look at his specialised S-Works Tarmac SL7 with some unique component choices. Alaphilippe and his Sudal Quickstep teammates have been using S-Works Tarmac SL7 bikes for several seasons now and it will be the last before the SLA is introduced according to speculation. Like many pro cyclists, Alaphilippe opts for a smaller frame size than a size guide would have you believe. The 52 Tarmac SL7 frame he rides was propelled to a championship road race victory in 2021. It's recommended for riders 1.62 metres to 1.7 metres, but Alaphilippe is reported a little taller than that at 1.73 metres. This is by no means the first time we've seen riders downsizing their bike frames in order to take advantage of the shorter head tubes for a more aggressive position. The pros also look direct mount mech hangers. Instead of using the standard dogleg link at the top of the rear mech, this, mech, this extended mech hanger can also be removed, which is said to be stiffer for more precise gear changes. The group set is the latest generation Shimano Dura Ace 9200, complete with a double sided power meter. The 12-speed group set uses 54 40 tooth rings at the front with the cassette sizes swapped out for various iterations depending on the stage requirements. Alaphilippe is also using the latest generation Shimano Dura Ace pedals and like plenty of the Pro Peloton is using the 4mm wider spindle option. With the specialised sponsors teams the wheels come from Reval. This particular set is the Rapid CLX which measures 51mm and 60mm at the front and rear respectively. The front wheel is also super wide at 35mm at its widest point. For more mountainous stages, the riders will take advantage of the lighter, shallower Alpinist CLX wheels. Alaphilippe's saddle of choice being the specialised Roman Evo with carbon rails. The bars of choice are the Pro Vibe Alloy in a 40cm width. And despite the rise and rise of carbon bars, some riders still opt for aluminium options. Of course, he has the Wolfpack logo on the top tube. Wondering how Alaphilippe can get away with not using the specialised or Reval bars, it's not because he gets the free choice. Pro is a subsidiary of Shimano and one of Sudel Quickstep's other sponsors. Tax bottle cages and the Super Caz bar tape complete the build. So that's it, Alaphilippe set up in full. Personally, I'm a big fan of the tarmac. I'm not the biggest fan of the SL7, this setup definitely looks good and suits Alaphilippe down to the ground. Definitely one of the big talking points of Alaphilippe's setup is the fact that he has alloy bars and a normal saddle and a shorter stem. Maybe he knows something that all the other pros don't. Thanks for watching the video and if you'd like to see more videos like, like this breaking down pros bikes or any interesting subjects you might want to see in video form. Just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching the video.